And new tonight, just days before voters head to the polls, the race for the District 1 Metro Council seat heats up. At the center of this controversy, a racially charged photo that was posted on social media. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon talked with two of the candidates tonight about this photo. Emily, how are they reacting? Well, both are condemning it and saying it is distasteful. Now, we want to show you that image, but we want to warn you first, you may find it offensive. The photo is doctored to show Nick Leonardo, the only white candidate running in District 1, standing in front of four individuals in blackface theater makeup. His name is also misspelled on the campaign sign. One of the candidates in the race, William Bug Mason, confirmed one of his campaign volunteers posted the photo on the Hip Bordeaux Facebook page. Mason didn't want to talk on camera, but he did say that he does not condone anything of that nature. And as soon as he learned of the photo, he asked the volunteer to take it down. He said the volunteer is no longer working with the campaign. Leonardo says the person behind the photo was not a volunteer and was paid by the campaign. He says, however, he is staying focused on the issues and unifying the district, but fears that the picture will only further divide residents. I thought that was a bold and hurtful move for a paid campaign staffer. And I think that it's a slap in the face uh, to all of those who have fought so hard for social injustice in the past. I also spoke with the man who posted the photo. He says he's a graphic artist and he created the image. He says the Mason campaign had nothing to do with it. He also said that he is still working with the campaign, contradicting what Mason told us. Now, in addition to Leonardo and Mason, Ruben Dockery is also running for the District 1 seat and voters will head to the polls on Thursday. Reporting live in the newsroom, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Emily, thank you. We do want to mention Nick Leonardo also serves as a legal analyst for News Channel 5.